Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Synergize, and I'm back with a brand new Destiny 2 video, and today I want to discuss some Destiny 2 news and summarize the big news and updates that we have received in the last few weeks. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate if you guys could leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy. Let's see if we can reach 5 likes on this video. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with a quick point. Forbes released an article confirming that the Guardian we play as throughout Destiny 2 will in fact be silent throughout the whole game. In Destiny 1, there were still some rare talking moments from our Guardian, but it looks like there will be zero dialogue at all from the protagonists within Destiny 2. What could this mean for the story and what made the developers decide to do this? Hopefully once the full game releases, our questions will be answered. Next up we have something you have probably already seen a lot about, but is important so I will discuss it again. When you pre-order Destiny 2, you get the Cold Heart Exotic Tracer Rifle upon the release of the game. The Cold Heart looks like an extremely good weapon for stagnant enemies that need continued damage to eventually fall. Another thing to note is that the Cold Heart will be in the special weapon slot which is great considering heavy ammo isn't the easiest thing to find. Along with the Cold Heart, you will receive the special Kill Tracker Ghost and Salute Jester for your characters upon pre-ordering the game. That segues into my next point. According to an Ask Bungie article from IGN where Destiny 2 Project League Mark Noseworthy answered questions from IGN users, someone asked what changes were made in result to the feedback from the beta. And basically Mark said a lot of tuning was done, including a greater chance of ammo drops and higher super regen rates, both of which were big problems within the beta. Another question asked within the article was whether or not there will be multi-passenger vehicles within Destiny 2 and Mark's response was a quick nope. The last interesting thing from this article that I noticed was when an IGN user asked, quote, will PvE and PvP be balanced separately or as one? The interesting part about Mark's response was when he said, in Destiny you build a character with a bunch of powers, abilities, and we hope a combat rhythm that is consistent across the game. This stuck out to me as a possible meaning that powerful PvE guns and abilities may in fact be powerful in PvP as well and the two will furthermore be connected. But that is all speculation on my part and I may be reading into that too much. I'm going to end this update video on a couple quick notes. The PC beta for Destiny 2 will begin on August 28th and end on August 31st. And we were also told a few days ago that clans are back within Destiny 2 and you can migrate clans from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2. Clans are essentially a group that you join with other players in it to allow you to have other Destiny enthusiasts to play both PvE and PvP with. With all this news being released, my excitement for the full release of Destiny 2 on September 6th is growing, and I cannot wait to begin the long and enjoyable ride within the Destiny universe. Now with that being said, thank you guys for watching. As always, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. I'd love to reach 5 likes on this video and be on the lookout for episode 2 of Reliving Destiny in under 5 minutes coming out soon. And until next time guys, peace out.